The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Take care not to perform righteous deeds in order that people may see them. Otherwise, you will have no recompense from your heavenly Father. When you give alms, do not blow a trumpet before you as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets to win the praise of others. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your alms giving will may be secret, and your father who sees in secret will repay you. When you pray, do not be like the hypocrites who love to stand and pray in the synagogues and on street corners so that others may see them. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you pray, go to your inner room, close the door, and pray to your Father in secret, and your Father, who sees in secret, will repay you. When you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites. They neglect their appearance so that they may appear to others to be fasting. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face so that you may not appear to others to be fasting, except to your Father who is hidden. And your Father who sees what is hidden will repay you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. I like the first reading of the day where Elijah, as he takes leave of his assistant, Elisha asks him what he wants from him. And Elisha says, I want a double spirit of yours. Whatever power you had, I want a double portion. My dear sisters and brothers, our God is a God who is very generous with us, scandalously generous, unbelievably generous, generous even to the wildest of dreamers. Notice the way he loves us. St. John would say, for God so loved the world that he gave his only son. Now, which of us loves the other to the extent of sacrificing our own child or grandchild? That's where God is different. And then St. John, like the other evangelists, would go on to say, having loved his own in the world, Jesus loved them to the end. And how does he do that? On the night before he would die, he would take bread, pick it up and say, my body given for you, my blood shed for you. And so notice that what God gives us is not something, but someone, not just anyone, but the gift of himself. And in the Eucharist, that is what we celebrate today, every day. And as Claire comes up to receive communion, the gift of Jesus to her, Let's pray that she will also make a gift of herself to Christ and that this giving and receiving will last a lifetime. 